In this video, I'm gonna tell you about why I did not and would not study automotive engineering. And in fact, even though I'm wearing a Toyota t-shirt right here and I love cars and I love automotive industry in general, I came to a realization that it's not really great for many people. So when I was 19 years old, my father had started a new business. It was a car uh, dealership and it involved a repair shop. And what we would basically do is we would buy cars, repair them, make them really good. Sometimes they would have like some minor tweaks and then we would basically sell them for profit. And my brother was leading sales. My father was doing the business operations. And I was doing more of the technical stuff, like actually diagnosing the cars, purchasing the cars, being involved in fixing them, working with the mechanics directly. So I was doing a lot of the engineering and tech stuff. And at the time I was obsessed with cars. All I wanted to do was like work on cars and study cars. And, and it's just the most fascinating thing ever. I thought cars were super cool. And my favorite part was really just figuring out what was wrong in a car like if a car made a certain noise or if something was wrong i would just kind of i, I had this like little uh, computer reader that i would plug it into the car and it would create some codes i would go look them up and i would study them and one day like we made business cards for me my brother and my father and mine i chose that it said diagnostician in other words i was the person who was diagnosing what was wrong with the cars and then i was basically helping make decisions on how to fix that and whatnot before i passed them over and at the time i was watching a show called house md and i was also interested in medicine like in the background i was kind of thinking about okay should I go to medical school? No, should I work on cars? Should I stay in engineering? I was kind of going through the typical 19 year old messy mind of just like, what should I do with my life? And I realized that a lot of what I was doing with cars is actually applying some of the stuff I was learning in the show about doctors. And just like how the doctor was diagnosing patients with ailments, in my head, I was diagnosing cars with problems. I was saying what needs to be fixed. And I realized that that was the thing that I was actually enjoying. It was not, it didn't have anything to do with the car itself. Yes, a lot of the cars looked cool, but the thing that I truly enjoyed was the diagnosing and the figuring out what was going on. That's what I was said, oh, hold on, wait a second. I actually want to apply this to other domains in life, not just cars. I just enjoy the act of figuring things out and I enjoy the act of solving problems. That's what I really enjoy. And the cars just happened to be the application that I was doing at the time. So if you're someone who's absolutely obsessed with cars and engines and the mechanical things, and you're certain that it's the actual car itself that you really like, and you'd like to be involved in the manufacturing, the design, all that, then by all means, find a program that specializes in that. If you're certain you want to commit the next like 10, 20, however many years of your life to, even though you don't really have to, obviously you could always pivot and get a job in a different industry. But I'm saying from a decision-making perspective, this video doesn't really have to anything to do with cars or automotive. The video is about the idea of the second order reasons of why we do things. And very often we think it's like this thing that we want to do, but this actually the underlying reason behind why we want to do it is the thing that we should pay attention to. And once you shed light on that second order, deeper reason, then things become a lot clearer and you can make more proper decisions. In my case, when I had that realization that I enjoyed the process of diagnosing and figuring things out and solving problems, I immediately realized, oh, I don't I don't want to do this in cars only. I want to do this in something broader. I chose to go with a broader degree where I can apply that skill set to everyday life. For example, I, I really wanted to write a book when I was 23 years old. I really, really wanted to write a book. I thought, okay, I'm going to write a book. I'm going to become a book author, a book publisher. And even though the book was the application or the thing I was obsessed with at the time, the underlying reason why I wanted to write it was because I wanted to share my knowledge and I wanted to share my information. And that's when I later realized that, whoa, like the book is cool. And I went ahead and I published it. And I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. But later on, I realized that what I actually want to do is help people and share my knowledge with people. And that's actually what motivated me to start my YouTube channel because I thought the YouTube channel is a far more effective means to reach people and communicate with people. The main takeaway I want you to get from this video is very often you might think you want something or there's this shiny thing that you're going after, but really stop to ask yourself why why you actually want that thing and what feeling or what, what benefit that thing will get you. And very often that underlying reason, whether it be a feeling or a benefit or some desired outcome, that's actually driving you. And then if you shed light on that, then you'll be able to kind of step back out and see things a lot more clearly and you'll be able to make more optimal decisions and you may even find a better vehicle or getting the thing that you want done. Now, if you're new to this channel, you may not be aware that I have had like a roller coaster of switching my major. Like I switched from, I don't know, mechanical to aerospace, biomedical, electrical. I looked at medical school, I looked at law school, I worked in cars. I've done a lot of things and I've made a, a video on, on why I dropped, why I switched out of each one of these things specifically. And I made a playlist of all of that. So it should be somewhere over here. If I were you and I had like 10, 15 minutes, I would definitely go ahead and watch that.